that came out in 2023, Thriller 40. That's mm -hmm. the 40th anniversary of Thriller, if you can believe it. So it's 41 years old. Great documentary. Oh, they nice. talked to some of the people who are in the dance, how the director, John Landis, you know, came up with yeah. some unique ideas for mm. that. But uh, it's part of the American culture yes, now. It thriller. Is. Yeah. All right. You got the recommendation from Jeff. Yeah. Meantime, for the rehearsal this weekend, I think the Living Dead don't really care if it rains or not. Nah. But no. The people rehearsing do would prefer nice weather. Uh, yeah, especially that way uh, all of the makeup. death and decay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That way that's not Quote washed away. Makeup. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're keeping track of how many days until Halloween. Well. Now just a little over a month away, 34 days and already starting to give us those fall like vibes with a beautiful live look out towards the Canby area where it feels like fall at 67 and the Swan Island Dahlia is out there also in full bloom for the final weekend. But you notice that some of those trees starting to shade their green color and give up to some yellows and oranges, just like the maple trees and the locust trees at about 25 to 45% right now. But over the next week, we anticipate for a lot of those fall colors to start to get underway across the Willamette Valley. Take a look over the high tree and the Cascades, though, even the Blue Mountains nearing peak, if not even past peak in many of those locations as we really start to see the color close in coming down out of the foothills and into the valley locations as our corner maze forecast puts us on the cloudier side for Saturday. So if you're doing any of that thriller dance moves, well, you will be on the dry side as we work our way into a dry and sunny and cooler day on Sunday as we approach 70 degrees. But today's moisture also making it feel like the autumn season, picking up a couple of one hundredths of an inch here through the northern Willamette Valley, closer to a tenth of an inch out along the coastline. After our daytime highs managed to warm back up into the mid 70s, the Dalles out there east of the Columbia River Gorge at 80 and low to mid 60s found along the coast. But Portland's average daytime high temperature right now at 73. We got mostly clear skies with just some high thin cirrus clouds helping to filter out some of those sun rays this evening as we sit at 73 degrees. The winds out the northwest at about three as we anticipate the cloud coverage to continue to disintegrate throughout the rest of this evening. It will be back for tomorrow, but at least a clear night in store for us tonight as we fall back into the mid 50s just after the midnight hour. As far as our future cast shows, we will hold on to that increasing cloud potential, not stopping our temperatures though from warming back up into the mid to, uh, 70s for many of our locations as we see the back end of this latest system kind of clear out our skies once again just in time for Sunday with maybe a stray raindrop or two for the mid morning hours just along the coast for Sunday, but for the most part, we will be staying on the dry side as this trough of cooler air tries to dive its way further to the south, but a developing bridge just offshore. That's going to be our next major weather dominant feature as we roll our way into the first day of October, bringing back highs into the upper 70s for us. That just so happens to fall on Tuesday, the peak of our latest round of heat as we fall back to those average temperatures by the middle and end of next week. Now for the month of October, as it quickly approaches, we start the month off with an average day high of 71, but look at this big temperature swing 58 degrees that brand new average high come Halloween tonight. We expect to see those mostly clear skies. Clouds will eventually start to develop as we fall back to about 54 tomorrow back up into the mid 70s for us with mostly sunny to cloudy skies, depending on if you're along the coast or the I-5 quarter. But look to the early morning sky around 6 a.m. on Sunday to the east. That's going to be the best day to pick up on the site of a rare comet. So send us your photos over at coin.com. Seven day forecast, dry stretch of weather all the way through the weekend with more clouds on Saturday as opposed to Sunday and more sunshine to start off the week as the cloud coverage increases by the end of next week. And it's about one week from today. We anticipate the wet weather to slowly work its way back into our forecast. But a nice way to start October. Very nice. All way. right. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Happening tomorrow.